Hello, my name is Christopher Gardner. I'm the lead blogger at mkcreativemedia.com forward slash blog. And we're very proud to present to you a series of video how to's and some help with technologies that we believe nonprofits, charities, small businesses will find uh, really handy as they uh, develop their social media outreach and their online presence. And we'd like to start with a series on Tumblr. We got a great response to our Tumblr series that we wrote about a few weeks ago. And we wanted to show you a few how-tos to get a Tumblr site up and running. So here we are at Tumblr's homepage. When you go to Tumblr at uh, www.tumblr.com, uh, they present you with a series of uh, Tumblr um, members and posts that they believe you'll find interesting, including a number of keywords that they suggest you might want to follow. These can be changed once you set up your own account. We can see here that we have some news about the London Olympics, which are starting quite soon. Um, Terry Gilliam's work, some of it's being posted online via Tumblr. Great news for us Monty Python fans. Um, you can see illustrations from various artists. Uh, photography as well and these are things that the Tumblr staff uh, put out there that they think folks will find of particular interest. If you like a particular image or idea you can click on the heart button and follow that person and his or her work or the organization's work. You can also uh, reblog it onto your Tumblr post by clicking on this link um, if you find work that you'd like to share with your readers. So that's a little bit about the Tumblr homepage and what you'll see from them. Um, you will of course want to sign up for a Tumblr post. Um, you'll put the traditional email, password, and username into this account and click start. There are a couple of things about this process though that are not um, obvious. One is that you will need to verify that email. Now that is fairly standard procedure but Tumblr doesn't actually say that. So you could almost immediately sign into your account, but some of the features, some of the customization features will not be available to you until you confirm your email. Now another thing to note is that email might take a little while to show up. Uh, it took mine about 15 minutes, so you can do this and then go have a bite of lunch or make a cup of coffee and then come back and confirm that email. Your username um, is not necessarily your URL. The URL um, we'll talk about here in a little while, um, but you do want to give yourself a username for your password. Now we already have an account. We've created a kind of um, helpful full account to uh, get the system up and running, and that is a site that we're calling MK Creative Hints. So now I've signed into that, and you can see our name right here, MK Creative Hints. This is a Tumblr blog we're going to use for the process and for these videos to show you how to set it up. There is not, in fact, uh, a blog on Tumblr called MK Creative Hints that will go live to the general public. And again, you'll notice that the Tumblr folks have added for me some of the things they think I might find interesting based on uh, some of the keywords and some of the ideas that I've posted of interest to me. So they've given me some fashion images. Um, the uh, more on the Olympics um, and some visual arts and music. I've signed on to a couple of uh, uh, music sites. So that's some again something that we don't control that comes straight from the Tumblr folks. At the top of this general dashboard you have opportunities to post video, audio, to chat with others in the Tumblr community, to establish links, to post what's called a quote we'll get to in a later video and the most likely thing most of us will do with posting photos and or text. And you can do that right from the dashboard. Now across the top here you have the ability to go straight to adding a new post. You can also send an email to people uh, within the Tumblr community or check your own inbox if you need any assistance. And also we have here the preferences button. Now in fact you will have two opportunities or two spaces to develop and customize your Tumblr site. You want to be aware of that. Again, it's not um, particularly intuitive, I think. One is named under your account. So if I click on MK Creative Hints, we see that we have no posts, but I can do some blog settings here. I can customize the theme. You can see the buttons here on the right. I can also go into the preferences to take care of some other issues with my blog. 
Now, remembering what particular setting is in which side might take you a few clicks. It did indeed take me a couple of efforts to remember which setting is in which part. But do note you have two different groups of customization to get to, one through blog settings and the other through the preferences here. We're going to talk about that in our next episode. So those are some of the ways you can get started with Tumblr. We hope you find this a useful way to get Tumblr up and running. In our next episode, we'll look at the blog settings and the preferences and talk a little bit about why Tumblr is such a great platform to develop a blog for your nonprofit, uh, for your charity, even for your small business. It is a free platform, and the options and opportunities it presents to reach a wide audience really are uh, quite stunning. We look forward to seeing you on that next episode. Until then, I'm Christopher Gardner, lead blogger at mkcreativemedia.com forward slash blog, and we hope you'll join us for another episode of these video hints and how-tos. Thank you.